The Wind Feline Foundation funds research that contributes to the health of our cats. Pretty much everything we know about cat health and the fighting off of diseases specific to our cats is due to research funded by WIN. And some of that research is truly cutting edge, including stem cell therapy to fight kidney disease in cats. That's being done by Dr. Jessica Quimby. One of the reasons why we were so interested in looking at stem cell therapy is, is really because of the kidney disease itself. So the first thing I would say would be why is kidney disease in cats such a concern? And what we really have is a disease that affects almost universally elderly cats. It's, it's getting to be now that we look at the numbers, you know, we're expecting that almost every cat potentially might face having to deal with kidney disease at some point in their life. And we, we just really don't have that many options in terms of therapy for this disease. So looking at novel therapies for chronic kidney disease is very, very attractive. Now, thanks to the Wind Foundation funded research, Dr. Quimby is going to find out if stem cell therapy can truly help these cats. We saw some very, very intriguing studies that have been done in experimental models in, in rats and um, mice. And this really showed us the possibility that stem cells could in fact improve the outcome in both acute kidney injury and in chronic kidney disease. But none of this work has ever been done in our veterinary species in cats or dogs. And so to be able to take that idea and then apply it to cats and dogs, and particularly cats because of the overwhelming um, incidence of this disease, was really an attractive idea. And so really honestly starting off a program like that where, where no one had looked at stem cell therapy in cats before um, was a very novel idea. And that's really where the funding from the Wind Feline Foundation initially came in was to allow us to first start to explore this idea and to jumpstart the stem cell program as it is today at CSU. So that, that was really vital to allowing us to really look at something that was cutting edge and see could we apply what we'd seen in the rodent studies to cats and see if it made a difference for them. So it's a huge area of study. While stem cell therapy has been controversial over the years, in human health, not the case in animal health. And Dr. Quimby assures us that that's not the case with her research. It's true, it, when people think stem cells, we're not really talking about embryonic stem cell research as it was initially. This is adult stem cell research, and these, our stem cells actually come from fat, so there's no ethical concerns associated with taking fats. Most people like to get rid of their cat fat, the cats like to get rid of the fat. Um, and using it then to make stem cells. So we don't have any concerns there. And um, in terms of, of going forward, we at this point in time have seen promise of it doing something for the kitties, but really we spent a lot of time trying to figure out the best way to, um, I guess, harvest and store and administer stem cells, which is kind of a huge place to start and then has allowed the inflammatory bowel disease study um, to happen, and also we have an asthma study that we've done. Um, it's, it's kind of provided the, the groundwork for those types of studies for stem cell therapy in cats in general. We've seen kind of mixed results in terms of, of what's happened with our studies, but we continue to work to strive to see if we can find a better way of giving the cells to the cats with kidney disease that might be more effective. And so there's really two things. From the, these studies in rodents, we really expected to give stem cells and have the kidney values, I, I don't know, magically get better. Mm -hmm. um, and so that hasn't really been what we've seen, but the cats have done well with the stem cells. We haven't had any um, problems in that regard. And we also want to monitor these cats long term to see how things go for them during the rest of their life after having been in the stem cell studies. Dr. Quimby says they want to make sure these therapies work before they're recommended. We really need to know before the use of stem cells kind of jumps over the science behind it, we need to have some idea of whether this is an effective treatment or not to know if it's worth, it's, it's not hassle free. I mean, this is a big deal to collect stem cells and grow them or give them, harvest them. We need to know if it really is an effective therapy before we feel like it's appropriate to advise such a therapy for our patients. We still have a lot more work to do, for sure, but um, it's, it's something that's a really, really compelling area of study, and I, you know, I think it'll be really interesting to see what comes out of it in the, in the next few years. Another example of the great research being done to help our feline friends live long and healthy lives. You can learn more at winfelinefoundation.org.